In the Lesson 4.4 example, Who Rides Snowmobiles in Yellowstone, we'll explore conditional probabilities and two-way tables. Yellowstone National Park surveyed a random sample of 1,526 winter visitors to the park. They asked each person whether he or she owned, rented, or had never used a snowmobile. The respondents were also asked whether or not they belonged to an environmental organization, such as the Sierra Club. The two-way table summarizes the survey responses. So we can see our 1,526 respondents total. They were asked whether or not they belonged to an environmental club, yes or no, and their snowmobile experience, never used, are they a renter or an owner. Suppose we randomly select one of the survey respondents. Let's define events E to be the environmental club members, S a snowmobile owner, and N to be never used. For part A, let's find the probability of N given E and interpret this value in context. Since this is a conditional probability, we'll want to make sure we're very careful in which part of the two-way table we look at. In this case, we're given that the respondent is an environmental club member. That restricts where we want to look. So in this case, we're not looking at all 1,526 respondents. We're only looking at the 305 who indicated that, yes, they were part of an environmental club. Of that, 212 have never used a snowmobile. So our probability of N given E, or the probability they've never used a snowmobile given they're an environmental club member, is 212 divided by 305, or 0 0.695. In context, this means that given that the randomly chosen person is an environmental club member, there's about a 69.5% chance that she or he has never used a snowmobile. Next, given that the chosen person is not a snowmobile owner, what's the probability that she or he is an environmental club member? Write your answer as a probability statement using correct symbols for the events. Now in this case, we're given that the chosen person is not a snowmobile owner. That means either they've never used a snowmobile or they're a renter. So again, we're not looking at all 1,526 respondents. We're looking at 657 plus 574, roughly 1,200 respondents total. So the probability they're an environmental club member, given they're not a snowmobile owner, could be written as the probability E given the complement of S. In this case, 212 plus 77 of those individuals are environmental club members out of the 657 plus 574 total. So another way to say that is 289 uh, individuals or respondents in this case are environmental club members given they're not a snowmobile owner and that was 1,231 total. So the probability of being an environmental club member given you're not a snowmobile owner is 0 0.235. For some additional practice with two-way tables and conditional probabilities, try exercise one.